Good evening. Country music lost a music, music legend today, the longest running member of the Grand Ole Opry. Little Jimmy Dickens died this afternoon at a Nashville hospital. He was 94 years old. He suffered cardiac arrest after having a stroke on Christmas Day. Dickens stood on the iconic Opry stage just five days before he went into the hospital. News Channel 5's Chris Cannon looks back on the life and the amazing career of little Jimmy Dickens. I'd be the same in Hollywood or right in my own kitchen. A constant voice in country music since the 1930s, small in stature but big on showmanship, little Jimmy Dickens was a legend and it was the Grand Ole Opry that made him a star. That's been my life, all my life, that's all I've ever done. And John Henry was a little... That big break so many decades ago or being in awe of the first time he stepped onto the famous stage at the Ryman. And when I stood in the wings of my first appearance on the Grand Ole Opry and looked around me and saw all these people who were my idols standing there watching me, it was like starting all over again. I'll never forget it as long as I live. Little Jimmy Dickens, a member of the Country Music Hall of Fame here. Over the next 60 years, the West Virginia native would become one of the most recognizable faces on the Grand Ole Opry. I'm Little Jimmy Dickens or Willie Nelson after taxes. Fans came out to hear Little Jimmy sing, but they also came out for the laughs. And now I'm so short. Every time I pull my socks up, I blindfold myself. And Little Jimmy's jokes were just as much a part of his act as his songs, and at four foot eleven, the name Little Jimmy was pretty obvious. But the singer had another nickname, Tater, that came courtesy of the legendary Hank Williams. It was after my first recording came out, and uh, uh, taking old Cole Tater and wait, and and we were on, we were touring, and he just started calling me Tater, and. And uh, that's all he ever called me was Tater. Little Jimmy took to the stage nonstop for decades, and in 1983, he was inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame, the highest honor in the industry. To know that you were put there by your peers and possibly by what you've contributed to industry that I love and have loved all my life, and it's a great feeling. I, I just can't put it in words. Little Jimmy never lost sight of where country music was headed and became close friends with the stars of today, people like Brad Paisley. Here he dressed like Justin Bieber for a spoof on the CMA Awards with Brad and Carrie Underwood. And then there was this birthday wish for Brad with a surprise ending. Happy birthday, Mr. Paisley. This girdle is killing me. I could wear the big boys for a so funny, so talented. Little Jimmy played the Opry stage until he just couldn't play anymore, never taking one second over his nearly 80-year career for granted. The experience and the association with the people that I've had the joy of working with doesn't come to one very often, and it's just been great for me. But it was even better for all of us, his fans. Chris Cannon, News Channel 5 HD. I can always wait till the old folks in. Funeral arrangements for little Jimmy have not yet been finalized. We do know there will be a public service to celebrate his life and legacy.